Love in the time of coronavirus. It turns out there has actually been a spike in online dating. There has been a spike in online everything. But KBX Vice Betty U is here to take us through the paces of pandemic dating. That's right, Brian. These dating apps have really adapted to the stay at home orders. Social distancing has really changed the dating game. Thousands of isolated people in the Bay Area are looking to make connections. And it turns out virtual dating can lead to more authentic, deeper relationships. I did have a virtual dinner date where we cooked the same meal at the same time and then ate it um, together over FaceTime. Brianna Haig is describing one of her dates in quarantine. The 35-year-old San Francisco resident has embraced virtual dating. She recently took part in League Live, which is a video dating mixer that sets up users on short dates. I met three people that I felt like I connected with. I think it's really efficient because you have that opportunity to get that sense of chemistry and energy level that you would typically not discover until you have a first date with them. Several dating apps, including Bumble and The League, have rolled out video calling features. Hinge is encouraging users to keep their dates digital. March 22nd was really the kind of the mark that we saw a huge spike in, in users and people being willing to actually uh, be be willing to video date now. I think uh, prior to this, it was a little bit scary and maybe you needed uh, extra courage to do it, but now there's really no other option. Founder and CEO of the league, Amanda Bradford, says engagement on the app has increased and users are more responsive. It's an unprecedented opportunity to actually get to know someone prior to to getting physical, um, you, you know, you can't get physical at this point. So I think um, dating is all about finding emotional connection and connecting with someone on a deeper level. Some tips for video dating, look first date great. Set the scene, have good lighting, have a back pocket topic that doesn't include the pandemic, give a power compliment that's not about looks, and share an experience, like watch a show at the same time. Silicon Valley-based Lynx dating founder and CEO Amy Anderson says she's been seeing more interest in her matchmaking services. I think that this time has really allowed people to look within and really focus on what's important to them, to look at their values, their mid to long-term goals, and Anderson says her clients are finding out that they don't want to be lonely and they do want to find love. So Link Stating says it's been busier than ever during quarantine. Brian? The ads are too much. The people behind you, I don't know if they look like that online in real life. We can but hope. Betty, thanks. East